Happy New Year's Eve. Thank you for joining us here on 2K Sports for the NBA. We're all dressed up and ready to go. I'm Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. And joining us now courtside, the man who won three consecutive NBA titles, the incomparable Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq, it is so great to be with you. Kevin, it's great to be here. I just always wanted to tell you this. Uh, when I was playing, I just used to love when you used to say my name. So thank you for all the great times when you said my name. That is great. Appreciate you very much. This guy next to you, I used to hate playing against him. All he did was try to come down and double team on the trap. With, with Greg always, here? Yeah, Greg, was, just, just always. But other than that, I'm, I love being here with you guys. You know what? Ernie and Kenny are so jealous of me right now. <laughs> oh, no doubt. No doubt. Welcome to the American Airlines Arena, home of the Miami Heat, and a great, great venue for basketball. You take a look at Las Vegas. Game after game, the unbroken streak of wins to start their season continues. You know, for some teams, it just takes a little time to get into a groove and, and, and to find your rhythm at the start of the season. But this group's been Shoot different. Two. You know, they've been playing like they have that proverbial chip on their shoulder since day one. Here are the starters for Las Vegas. They've got Okongwu, and it's Finney Smith in at the three, the small forward. More and more teams going to small ball, but Shaq, we still have big guys who affect winning because uh, they throw their weight around inside. They make their presence known. Who leads the way when you think of that group? Greek Freak, Andre Drummond, Joel Embiid, Rudy Gobert, Clint Capella. How do you come up with these names DeMarcus so quickly? Because boom, boom, Listen, boom, I, boom, boom. I, I am still the reigning president of the Big Man Alliance. You Anything are. Anything Big you Man, know. I know. All these guards and foo foo pick and pop players, I don't know who they are. When it comes to the BMA, the Big Man Alliance, I am still the reigning president. <laughs> Now, here's none. Now the pass to Davis. Shot clock at six. The Heat need to get a shot off. Here's Butler. The shot off that time. And it's Las Vegas the other way. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, here's what Las Vegas' head coach had to say earlier. One of the big factors they'll be facing is Bam Adebayo's ability to start the break. Coach told his team to get in Bam's face as soon as he comes down with it. Don't let him take off down the court unimpeded. Kevin, they know they have to slow down Big Bam in this one. Back to you guys. All right, David, thanks. Here's Holiday following the basket by Bam out of bio. Here's Finney Smith. Pass to Bembry. A shot, no good. Some solid defense from Butler. Now, none. And it's all evened up. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. None against Holiday. And there's Okongwu. That's good on the assist by Holiday. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Outside Robinson. Pass to Butler. The three. It's hauled in by Stewart. Some nice passing by Las Vegas here. And out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. And Nunn has got the ball here for Miami. Trailing by two. And last season, the Heat retiring Dwayne Wade's jersey up there in the rafters with your own, big fella. Talk about your experience playing together. Well, we had a short time together, but I think we had, we had a great, perfect time. Flash and the Diesel. You know, the Heat, they've, they've had some greats, but uh, D-Wade probably is the most important player in their history. So it's Las Vegas now, after Jimmy Butler missed from long range. Shot clock at five. Bembry shot good. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. You see the offense coming around for Adebayo. Entered the league with raw skills, but he's had the benefit of great coaching. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Oats it up for Davis. Hammers the alley-oop through. Terrific anticipation from Davis. The pass is there, and he finishes it with style. 
Holiday against Davis. Holiday dishes to Okongwu. And Davis sends it back. And he's able to get it back. Okongwu's now gone 104 from the field. Robinson passes to Butler, and they take the lead. A ferocious finisher. Butler will terrorize you inside. Nice play, Jimmy boy. Pass to Bembry. Kicks to Okongwu. Just five on the clock. Over Butler. But they get it back. Four on the clock. He takes it up and lays it in. Boy, he's really feeling it right now, shooting a high percentage to start this game. None looking around. Shoots it up. That shot missing, and it's Las Vegas the other way. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Holiday gets the bucket. Miami trailing. Outside Butler. Back to none. Outside Butler. Feeds to Davis. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. You know, he's one of the more coordinated bigs in the game. So hard to keep this guy in check. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the stripe in that last game. And one look at the box score will confirm that. Guys, I like that this is a part of his game that has really been consistent this year. And he makes the first. You know, I want to talk about the versatility of Davis. Uh, he's a guy who can score, a guy who can rebound, a guy who can defend. And he always does it at, 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 at such a high level. Heroes checked in for Miami. And so he hits both. Yeah, and what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. And here's Bradley. The pass to Gafford. Here's Benbury. Misses the three. And Shaq, everyone knows you produced immediately when you came in the NBA. Winning rookie of the year. So did you ever have a welcome to the NBA moment that you recall? Actually, but it wasn't in the NBA. The year before, we played against the greatest college team ever assembled, the UNLV Rebels. Oh. <laughs> Greg Anthony, Larry Johnson, Stacey Alderman. What a team. We weren't supposed to win that game, but we won that game. And you know it's all about confidence. Listen, everybody can play, but the guys that have more confidence are the guys that are going to go out there and do it. We won that game. What is, I had forgotten how yes. great names on that UNLV team. Okay. So I was saying to myself, look, if we can beat Larry Johnson, those guys, I can play with anybody in the NBA. So when I came to the NBA, I was just confident. Yeah, I, I was just really confident. But to answer your question, David Robinson and Dr. Newell taught me that I wasn't really that good yet. Really? Oh, yeah. Went to work on it. I tell That's you okay. what, though, boy, it was hard to play at LSU. It's, it's hard to win five against eight. Uh, there, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Back to you, Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> Olenek, he's checked in for Otto Bayer. Let's see some of the numbers here for him. Last game for Las Vegas, they picked up the W against the Hawks. Back to Bradley. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Down low, Davis, and that one is good. Davis has got eight points. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Now here's Brent. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to um, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And with a percentage of, of 82, he's been one of their more dependable shooters from the line. You know, 
guys that's not quite the same success rate he had at the line last year um, although it is somewhat in the neighborhood of last year's number that free throw good from Butler you know overcoming many obstacles in this path to the NBA uh, Jimmy Butler has greatness in him and I think that's helped him rise to every challenge Evan Turner he's checked in for Kendrick Nunn and so Butler nails both of them and the NBA has gotten into the academy business, be it in China, India, Africa, getting those top prospects together. Shaq, you planning to make any appearances over there? I would actually love to. Uh, if I did, you would just have to call me the big diplomat. Yeah, okay. I think it's very exciting to see the game's reach expand. You know, when we were playing, Greg, there's only a few guys, but now mm -hmm. they're from all over the place. I would love to uh, introduce the people to the Shaq's team. The big diplomat. Here's Turner after the basket by Las Vegas. Hero passes to Davis. Lock at six. Here's Hero. Miami no good on that time either. Pass to the Bembry. Wilson with it. Bembry the pass to Gaffney. The three from Bradley sinks the three-pointer. Bradley's got five now. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Turner passes to Davis. That ball. Nice feed that time from Turner. And the Heat lead by one. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Las Vegas calls timeout. You have to like what we're seeing from Davis. And he's just attacking the rim with force here. They need to try and deny him the ball in the paint to keep him away from the basket. Checked in for the Heat. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. Look at the Heat. They're sixth best right now, looking to make a move up in the standings. And you know, for the Heat, they've stayed right there, just in sniffing distance of the conference leaders. That's a solid accomplishment at this stage of the season. You know, I thought maybe they'd have it in them to actually join those leaders this season. But you're right, it's still nice work considering where they are. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. This tug-of-war game continues. And guys, that's lucky number seven already in this game. Turner against Bradley. Shoots over Turner. That's short off the rim. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. To the paint. Got a hand on it, and he gets it back. Now Las Vegas moving it up. There's Bembry. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And Las Vegas leads by one. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Las Vegas. Great hustle defensively through the first half. Contesting everything and racking up the block shots. You know, they've also shown some real tenacity here early on tonight. And it's paid off with a lot of second chance points. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Now, here's Olenek. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. To the inside. Here's Davis. It's stolen by Brandley. Now Las Vegas moving it up. And that's how to make an impact with defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. 54 seconds left in the first quarter. 
Ball's knocked loose. And Bazemore kicks to Davis. And he drops it in from the low post. Davis has got 14. I tell you what, guys, there's not much more he can do. I mean, he's been on fire, yet they still trail in this game. Outside Bradley. Over Davis. And too long on the shot. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Back to Turner. Here's Bazemore. Outside Turner. Over Bradley. And don't go away. We'll be right back. in our New Year's Eve broadcast. And from what we've seen from Las Vegas so far, guys, what are you seeing? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. Oh, well, there's no doubt about it, guys. Without those second chance points, this game would have had a much different feel to it. Well, we know a big part of a center's job is rim protection. Outside the pivot, Shaq, who stands out to you in guarding that rim, erasing shots, blocking shots. Who's that guy? Well, uh, the name that comes to mind right away is Jonathan Isaac. 6'11 mm. uh, forward oh. coming into his own as a defender and a shot blocker. Uh, let's see, from the guard's point of view, oh, Drew Holiday, old school defender. Yes. Uh, Kent Bazemore, Derek White, they can all give you 40 plus blocks in a season. You know who's pretty good too is, is McCollum up at Portland. He yes, is. he's really good. All the guys under 6'7 in the league, he's number one at blocking shots among guards. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the court for the Heat, in the middle, it's Olenek and Adebayo. Evan Turner is out there with Hero, and it's Bazemore at the three. And the foul on Daniel Gaffey. That'll be his second foul of the game. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Determined to protect the lead with the all-out effort defensively. Superb anticipation on the block. And Miami making a change here. Robinson's checked in. Okongwu's checked in for Las Vegas. Dorian Finney-Smith comes in for Justin Jackson. Pass to Bazemore. Off on the layup. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Now here is Holiday. High point lead, the biggest of the game. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Now here's Bazemore. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. It's good. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Las Vegas leading by three. Bradley dishes to Holiday. Passes it to Finney Smith. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Yes. Holiday's got three assists tonight. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Now here's Baseball. And Adebayo throws it down. With strong athleticism, Adebayo can finish just about any lob with his large catch radius. Here's Smilagic. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Smiley Geach has got the lead up to five now for Las Vegas. Shaq, you stay very involved with the game, hang out with a lot of the players, talk with coaches, you go to many games. Give me some personalities that you enjoy the most, guys you like hanging around with. Well, I hang around with everybody, but a few guys shaped my mentality. Uh, the gentleman next to you, he doesn't know this, but I knew that when he was in college, he already had his T-shirt business, a real estate <laughs> license. So I really learned the business from him. And it was D. Scott. D. Scott taught me to, you know, just have fun and be silly. Uh, Alonzo taught me to be be serious and be more focused. Uh, you know, hanging out with LeBron and Kobe. 
I'm just uh, happy to, to, to have the ability to just be blessed and just meet so many people. That's a varied list. That is. And a nice compliment it's to a, you. It's an honor to be on that list. Yes, I'm right. That's the first know, name on the list. You ain't know I knew about the real no, estate. No, I didn't. Did. Yeah, I bought a house yeah, and you overcharged me for the interest. But that's okay. <laughs> Baysmore gets the bucket. And I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. There's the pass to Stewart. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Baysmore passes to Nunn. Heat moving the ball around. Baysmore misses. Baysmore is gone, just two of six shooting, 33%. Bradley deciding where to go with it, and Holiday kicks to Finney Smith. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got four assists in the game. None passes to Olenek. Pass to Baysmore. Let's it go from deep. It's hauled in by Stewart. Stewart's got his fourth rebound in this one. Holiday against Nunn. Inside, Stewart banked in off the glass. Now it's a four-point Las Vegas lead. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. Nunn finds Robinson. And here's Baseball. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Well, Shaq, when you talk with NBA historians, guys that, that coached against you, former referees, they all say you were the most difficult player to call games for, to referee. This was because there was uh, so much contact back then both ways. Well, listen, I understand it's hard to find the balance. I don't want to disrespect the referees. They're a, a vital part of this game. They do a wonderful job. Uh, some say I got away with too much. And others say I got hacked every play. We well, did just, get hacked at every play. I know, but I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't like to complain. I, I think. Did, I think I he did, did get, get hacked every play. He did get hacked. <laughs> In all fairness, you, you did. Well, first of all, you had to hit Shaq harder. You, you couldn't foul him the way or bump him the way you bump a normal player. You, you'd end up getting hurt more. But he also got away with it. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. Now here is Holiday, and Bradley gets it to go. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Pass to Butler. Now none. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking for Las Vegas. On Sunday, they'll be playing against Blake Griffin and the Detroit Pistons. Then on Monday, they'll take on Chris Middleton and the Milwaukee Bucks. And for their matchup with New Orleans, that's going to be one where it would take a lot of errors and maybe a cold shooting night for things to go wrong. They just have that much of an advantage over that team. Las Vegas calls timeout. change here. Davis has checked in. Okongwu, the pass to Finney Smith. And Butler sends it back. No denying it. Butler, a superb defender. 
really does a nice job using his length to turn shots away. Jack, everyone knows how dominant you were in the offensive end, but do you think you get enough credit for what you did on the defensive side of things? Uh, well, first of all, Mr. Kevin Harlan, I'm not known for defense, even though I was three-time all-defensive second team. I knew team. that. It's a, I reason, knew that. it's a reason I'm on second team. I am not worried about playing defense. However, I averaged three or more block shots twice a month. Yeah. But that's a good. That's a pretty good number. Good, 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 good enough to get you four. And, and you yeah. could argue that his best defense was his offense. Sure. Exactly. You can steal that one too. Uh, I am. <laughs> How many of that? You have like five of those no, now. Three. Right? I got three. Okay. Good. So let's watch Vegas now. He knocking down the tray. Outside Brent. Here's Finney Smith. Off target from three point range. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually, he's money from deep. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Boy, I tell you what, that's the play we'll remember if they can put together a little surge to break this game open. Yep, that one goes in there. Stewart's got his second bucket of the night. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. Butler feeling out a bit. This is it to Autobahn. Six to shoot. Robinson passes to Davis. It's rebounded by Las Vegas. Okongwu's now got four rebounds in this game. The pass to Holiday. Here's Stewart. He's guarded by Autobahn. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Really uh, the right play defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup. Give him a little bump. And then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And Take if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. And the first one drops. Heroes checked in for Robinson. And then for Las Vegas. Wilson, he's checked in for Okongwu. Justin Jackson comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. And it's Bembry in for Avery Bradley. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock him down from the lot. Has to out of Here's Hero. He is still scoreless so far in this one. Pass to Davis. Good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots and made seven of them. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. And breathe a pass to Holiday. Butler against Jackson. On the wing, Holiday. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Heat. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. They've been distributing the ball really well tonight, too. I mean, a decent number of assists so far for him. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Las Vegas. And that free throw, good from none. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Yeah, you have to make teams pay for fouling you. That's why they call them free. And they've done exactly that. Made them pay. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Now, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. She's gone two for two at the line so far. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Holiday.
Both free throws good from Holiday. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. And maybe cause some foul trouble along the way as well. And we know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. Here's Hero. No points in the game yet for him. And I love the way he uses his size there to make sure he gets that ball. And Butler sends it back. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Butler. Here's Holiday. He has six. Six on the shot clock. Inside two minutes. Inside and after that solid opening quarter, you can see now he is definitely starting to cool off. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. He's a big reason why they have the lead right now. He's made all of his field goal attempts thus far and remains hot from the floor. The Heat have been at their finest four at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. Turner's checked in for Miami. So it's Las Vegas now. It's a five-point game. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. That's exactly how it should be done. Get the bump, concentrate on the shot, and you'll get the bucket too. That one misses. Miami leading by three. Passes to Turner. Back to Butler. And there's the pass to Hero. Beyond the clock. Tries it from the top of the key. Offensive rebound. And we want to thank the big Aristotle for joining us here. Dropping knowledge as always. I'm telling you what, Shaq, you make our broadcast better. I want to say I appreciate that, Kevin, especially coming from you anytime, any place. You know where I am, brother. Just call me if you need me. Are you, you, are you going to be performing any ballet, the big Barishna nah. car? Have, have we given that up? Nah, my toes are, my toes are not feeling too well. <laughs> and Clark, it hasn't taken Shaq much time, has it, to go from being a superstar on the court to a force with our broadcast here courtside. Well, I tell you what, Shaq's one of those guys who just hits the ground running. He's a phenomenon in terms of personality, branding, business, excellence at every level. And he was an all-star starter as a rookie. That talks about his ability to get going fast. So he adapted to the broadcast booth just the same way. Now here's Butler. It's rebounded by Las Vegas. Gafford's got his sixth rebound on the night. Holiday with the three, trains the three-pointer. Holiday's got five points in the quarter. That's a nice play, getting the separation he needs for a clean look. And you look at him, he's given up an awful lot of size in that matchup, so he needs to have the ability to create separation. Guys, Bam Adebayo getting it done for Miami. Scoring, rebounding, he was all over the place during that quarter. They are riding his performance right now. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Boy, what a crowd joining us here for our halftime report. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel Shaquille O'Neal. And making his triumphant return to our set, the one-man broadcasting phenom, Shaquille. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the warm welcome. I just want to say, I get used to sitting on the sidelines. Better I'm here with you guys. It was to pretty out. good. How did they make you look good? No, it was, it was a lot of room down there, a lot of snacks. Potato chips? 
chips, popcorn, hot dogs, wow. Papa John's pizza. Oh, wow. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I think there was some donuts down there, too. Oh, yeah. What kind of donuts? Yeah. <laughs> Krispy Kreme. Oh, wow. Yeah. Man, but if your back is hurting, what do you put yeah. on it down there? And I put on my new suit from JC Penny. Oh, wow. It was just awesome. But if you, you know, you sit in a chair a long time, your back gets tight. What do you put on? Oh, yeah. I put some icy hot on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, pretty good. That's Guess good. how I came to the game. How? I don't have a car deal, so I'm not going to name one. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, but you need that insurance, don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, the yeah. great low rates you can get online. No, <laughs> no question. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody, with Kevin Harlan. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. You look at Bam Adebayo in this game, guys. He has been everywhere. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. On the court right now for Las Vegas, they've got Bembry, and it's Holiday in at the point guard. Right side, Davis. And Adebayo throws it down. Greg, when you played for the Knicks, I always heard that Charles Oakley would cook for the players. Is that true? Absolutely. Oak was very particular about his food. And I got to tell you, he knows his way around the kitchen. And to be honest, I would never tell him otherwise. Well, what was his special? Whatever he made was his special. <laughs> it wouldn't matter. None against Holiday. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. Free throw, good holiday. And, and no matter what, one of the big positives they can take away from this game is how well they've performed at the line. Both free throws good from Holiday. And so it's none with it. He brings it up for the Heat. The lead is two. And Adebayo throws it down. Don't take your eyes off Bam. When he comes off the floor, he gets up and the slams are just too good to miss. Double team on Holiday. And the dunk to finish it off. A uh, beauty. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finisher. Now, here is Robinson. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Here's Bembry. He has six. Pass to Finney Smith. Here's Stewart. He's guarded by Adebayo. Here's Holiday. Again, Las Vegas scores. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. To the middle. And Adebayo throws it down. And some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. And can put the other team on its heels. We'll see how it plays out. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. At the line for two. The first one falls. The Heat making a switch here. Oh, Linux checked in. Oh, 
Both good from the line that time. The Heat with the lead. Nunn kicks to Olenek. Back to Nunn. Outside Robinson. Master Olenek. Shot clock at six. Davis. And here's Nunn. Guarded by Holiday. The Heat rebound. And Davis puts it in. Davis has got 18 points in the game. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. And you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. Las Vegas calls timeout. And for everything that Anthony Davis does on the floor, you can't forget about his defense. Still an elite level defender. Guards multiple positions and turns away a number of shots. Checked in for Jimmy Butler. And Las Vegas making a change here as well. Bradley's checked in. Passes it to Stewart. Here's Bembry. Outside Brent. Lock at six. Here's Bembry. Guarded by Robinson. The shot by Okongwu. No good. The Heat leading by four. None with it. He's got 13. And a miss there on the triple. Now here's Bradley, the fast break opportunity. Here's Okongwu. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Give credit where credit is due right there. A terrific assist. Outside Robinson. Now the pass to Olenek. Heat moving the ball around. Pass to Robinson. But they recover it. Four seconds left. And Olenek with the lay-in. Often you find him out on the wing, but Olenek seizing the opportunity to go inside and dig out that extra possession. And breathe the pass to Brantley. To the paint. That's good, and the Heat lead is cut back down to two at those points from Bembry. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grinded-out game. Loads it up for Davis, and it's Davis finishing it off. Well, there's not a better target in all of the NBA than Davis for the alley-oop. Bembry the pass to Stewart. Throws it up high. Now, none. 13 points in the game. Can't cash in on the 10-foot jump. It's a neck-and-neck -neck game here in Miami. Outside Brent. The shot goes down, and it gets this game back to even. Bradley's got 13. Oh, such a field shot there. The photo. Here's Robinson. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. And Las Vegas making a change here. Smile Geach has checked in. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. Close games can boil down to who makes plays on defense. And that is one heck of a rejection right there. Outside Robinson. Again, the miss by the Heat. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Over to the wing. None kicks to Olenek. From outside, off the mark. 
Bradley against Bazemore. The offensive rebound. Kicks it out to Bradley. Pass to Bembry. Shot clock at six. And a miss there on the triple. Bembry's gone 40% from the floor in 10 attempts. Here's Nunn. Connects from three-point range. Nunn's got seven now in this quarter. This is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. Benny Smith passes to Bradley. 14 feet away. No good off the back of the rim. The Heat leading by three. Loads it up for Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. Things really rolling for AD now. This could be a big night for him. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Craig is a point guard. What is it you like to see from that position on the floor? I, I think first and foremost, leadership. Uh, it, it's so valuable at that spot. And, you know, you, you, you always got to have your head high because your teammates are feeding off what you put forth in terms of your body language and enthusiasm. So, you know, the typical stuff about organizing offense and, and setting the tone on the defensive end, that stuff's important as well. But so much of how you carry yourself out on the floor when you deal with adversity and you know that you're going to it, it is really paramount. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Tyler Hero, he's checked in for Duncan Robinson. And it's Turner in for Kendrick Nunn. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Las Vegas. Jackson comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. And so it's Turner with it. He brings it up for the Miami Heat. Four-point game. Pass to Bazemore. Misses the three. Tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. Bradley kicks to Bembry. Smile at each. Las Vegas again missing. The Heat leading by four. Here's Hero. Bembry with the rebound. Bradley, no one around him. No good from outside. One made three form for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Shots good by Hero. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. And here's Bradley. He's got 14. Jackson looking around. Fires the three. Bradley can't get it to go. Nothing's going his way since the horn. I mean, looks like he used up all his mates in the last quarter. Las Vegas trails by nine. Bradley passes to Gaffer. And it's Bradley off the drive. Lays it up off the glass. 16 points for Avery Bradley. And the defense no factor, which is why he simply laid it in. Turner, the bounce pass. Olenek finds Bazemore. Here's Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. How about the leaping ability of Davis? Easily gets off the ground to throw it down. And he's a quick jumper and decision maker. Now here's Jackson. And the pass to Brandt. Here's Smilek each. Rebound by Olenek. Olenek's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And finished off by Davis. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely sleek. Here's Bazemore, and it's wide right. Hits off the rim. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. You know, you don't always get that opportunity, so those are the ones you hate to miss. Here's Hero. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I, I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Smilek each passes to Brantley. Some nice passing by Las Vegas here. Smilek each misses. And I don't know if he needs a rest in this quarter or what, but he needs something to get off the snide. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Here's Bembry. He's got eight. 
Here's Gafford. Las Vegas needs to get off a shot to end the cold streak. They get it back. And it's sent back by Turner. Bradley with some nice D. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Anthony Davis firing on all cylinders for the Miami Heat. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And we'll be back with you shortly. I want all the bags, I want all the bags. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Never fall off, I just fall back. Never fall off. So it's Las Vegas now. They trail by 11. They've got Autobio. Anthony Davis is out there with Jimmy Butler. Then it's Kendrick Nunn. And it's Hero into the two guard. That's the group on the four for Miami. Now here is Holiday. Clock at four. And Bray kicks to Jackson. Off target with his three. And so it's Nunn with it. He brings it up for the Miami Heat. You know, even though they're on top in this one, You'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. Now, here is Holiday. Jackson misses. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Here's none. Trying to get open is Davis. None. That's good. None's got nine points here in the second half. None against Holiday. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Bam Adebayo. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Miami. Guys, the passing we've seen from them has been tremendous. Very unselfish. Yeah, but don't forget about their points in the paint, because those have been big. one is off. Greg is a broadcast. Who have been some of your favorite personalities to cover? Man, that's a great question. Uh, you know, most of the stars, it, it, I, I'm a big fan of, of Duran and Steph and LeBron and those guys. Chris Paul's another one that, that's a favorite. Uh, so many other guys, you know, there's so much more personality and so much more confidence as these guys have working uh, in front of the camera. I think that just makes for a, a better experience. Somebody asked me the other day, who was my favorite? You know who I said? Who was that? Greg Anthony. Oh, you're just saying that because it's true. <laughs> Las Vegas trails by 12. And breathe the pass to Jackson. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Hey, I'm stating the obvious here, but he was very comfortable taking that shot. Not a defender in sight. And Adebayo throws it down. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely sleek. And he's fouled on the shot. It misses, so a couple of free throws here. Almost the chance for a three-point play. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. And some changes here for the Heat. Kelly Olenek comes in for Bam Adebayo. And it's Duncan Robinson in for Hero. No good on that one. Dorian Finney-Smith's checked in for Las Vegas. So he comes up empty, missing both. Miami leading by 11, outside Robinson. He dishes it to Butler. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Here's 
Bembry, guarded by Robinson. Pass to Holiday. Now here's Butler. And there's the feed to Robinson. And they pick up two. Robinson's got his first points in this one. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Holiday against none. Las Vegas again missing. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. And Davis throws it down. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. And, you know, the lead just keeps growing. I mean, this game is not going to get out of their grip. They're going to keep pulling away. Here's Finney Smith. Outside Holiday. And they get it. And Finney Smith gets it to go. How about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboard right now? Some hard-earned second-chance points. And they double up Davis. Butler from outside. Bembry with the rebound. Bembry's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Pass to Wilson. Here's Bembry. Olenek is covering. Here's Holiday. And Davis sends it back. Well, I tell you what, Davis uses his length so well. I mean, a defensive stalwart who holds his ground, and because of his timing and length and athleticism, he's an excellent shot blocker. They grab their own miss. The kick out to Holiday. Poked away. You can see the frustration in the quarter on his face, especially with his team trailer. Basket number eight is all good. He's attempted 12 shots. Oh, great ball movement there. Las Vegas trails by 17. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Embry misses. Wide, wide open, and still, surprisingly, he wasn't able to cash in. And Davis throws it down. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. And that's an alley-oop that'll be loop-to-loop -loop all day long on the highlight reel. Boy, he's doing everything he can at this point. Timeout, the rest timeout. of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. Timeout called the Heat. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically, there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Vegas, Stewart's checked in for Daniel Gafford. And Okonwu's subbed in for Wilson. None passes to Butler. Down low. Left block shot on the way. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Las Vegas trails by 16. Outside Holiday. Bambury kicks to Holiday. Out to the right wing. Five on the clock. And no good. Some solid defense from Robinson. No doubt the fight's there. They are trying to battle back, but he's just really struggling this quarter. Here's Bembry, and he bangs it home with one hand. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Butler, no good. 
And here's Holiday who will bring it up for Las Vegas. Here's Finney Smith. And a great job by the D contesting that shot and forcing the miss. Here's Butler trying to get open as Davis. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Davis never seems to take a rebound for granted. I mean, this guy is always doing the extra work to get to the ball. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. talk about receding in the playoffs when you got down to the final four teams if it ensures the two best teams make the finals it would seem to me Greg to be worth it what about you you know it could be I think about the, the worldwide attention on that championship round but you got to get the Eastern Conference teams to sign off on that and you know we've seen it happen in the past where the, the power shifts from one conference to the other but ultimately nothing better than seeing the two best teams play for it all frozen guys just ice cold unable to contribute offensively double team on holiday here's Bembry rebound by Butler Butler's got rebound number seven for him tonight a good board there Kevin but overall they're getting slightly out rebound and that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game get to work on the glass now here is Holiday. Here's Stewart. And Davis pulls it down. Robinson passes to Nunn. And it's Davis finishing it off. I tell you, he's playing the game with pure excitement right now. He capped off that dunk with some serious hang time on the rim. Yeah, just couldn't contain himself. Couldn't control himself there. Now here is Holiday. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And I don't care what his size is. You cannot forget to box him out. He's just got a nose for the ball, and he is fearless in attacking the glass. And it's Davis at the elbow. Back to Robinson. This is a dual in it. Heat moving the ball around. Holiday brings the double team. At the elbow, it's Robinson. It's rebounded by Las Vegas. Bembry. The pass to Stewart. Unable to get that one. Will he go the other way with it? None. Bounce pass. Robinson finds Davis. Back to Robinson. Miami keeps it going. A new 14 second clock. And it goes down two points. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. And you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. Las Vegas calls timeout. They're down by 19. A minute 50 left here in the fourth quarter. And now, a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Anthony Davis. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. Here's Bembry. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Oh, my goodness. Sa save that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. Virtually impossible to top that alley-oop. Holiday brings the double team. Robinson kicks to Buck. That three off the mark. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. 
and he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Here's Finney Smith. Holiday with the three and another three for Las Vegas. And, and so only one team answered the bell tonight, guys. Not a monster blowout by any means, but still a double-digit victory for Miami. What do you think was the deciding factor in this one? I think you have to look at their field goal percentage. They just shot the ball much better than the opponent, and, and they were getting great looks all game long. And with this effort tonight, grabbing their eighth win of the year. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. When it is just a two-game season series, the team winning game one has that slight mental edge going into the second meeting, knowing they've already solved their opponent one time and only have to do it one more time. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and looking at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Anthony Davis. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do much to keep him from dropping it in. On the free throw, no good. And Nunn has got the ball here for the Miami Heat. And Miami can just let the clock run down here. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Uh, I think they built off that edge of being here and, and play with just a little more confidence than their opponent. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. See you next time.